case. Well, somebody hears you. Vicky, what is going on? Stop playing quiet. Just do it, all right? All right, Senorita Consuelo. I nearly froze my butt off for you tonight. Aren't you a little odd to be making angels Don't in the snow? Don't come. You wouldn't see me. What are you talking about? I went to Spencer's to see you. Why? How come you wouldn't let me in? Because I wasn't there. What? Well, I mean, I was, but I, I wasn't. Vicky! Told you not to call me that. What is going on? Can you keep a secret? About as good as you. Forget it. Oh, come on, Vicky. Please. Please. All right. I snuck out of Spence's house tonight. I'm on the lamb, just like old times. Vicky. Pick this place to escape to. I don't know. I didn't really think about it. Pretty pathetic, huh? No, not really. I mean, this kind of reminds me of the joint we used to hang on in Lassiter. Uh, well, I don't think I'm going to be doing much hanging anymore. So you never did tell me how to do this. Did you shimmy down the drain pipe? No. No, it wasn't exactly that dramatic, but it was, it was pretty clever. Oh, clever? I don't know. Sounds like Grant is going to tar and feather you. What he doesn't know won't hurt him, Jake. Is it really that bad, Vicky? I'm thinking of a 14-bedroom mansion with a butler. You don't know what it's been like. Ever since these threats against Grant's life, I mean, it's just been like Alcatraz. Security guards follow me everywhere where I sleep, where I eat. It's a miracle I can even take a shower by myself. Since when's that been a problem for you? Couldn't resist. Easy setup. Well, I don't know if you can't deal with this for a couple of weeks. How do you think you're going to spend a lifetime doing it? I mean, this guy wants to be president of the United States. Well, it's going to be different once Grant and I are married. How? Well, it just is. Oh, come on, Vicky. You can't kill yourself. All right, just eat your own food, drink your own beer, get your hands off, man. You're lucky I'm even letting you sit with me. I just wonder what the society press is going to do when they find out they were stood up. I understand they can be ruthless. Yeah, well, they weren't stood up, okay? I was there. Where? At Spencer's house. When? Tonight. Vicky, I thought you said you took off. Well, I did. You did. How can you be in two places at one time? You didn't. I did. <laughs> How'd you tell a crane to do this? Oh, come on. It was a piece of cake. This is right up her alley. All that starched lace mm. and fine china. I'm sure she was great when she loosened up a little bit. Forget about getting tarred and feathered. Grant's going to kill you when you find out. Eh? Yeah, well, he's not going to find us up. Because I... One second, Consuelo. You know, you better do what you can to keep your secret quiet because you know how people can talk in this town. What do you want, Jake? Oh, an exclusive on your upcoming wedding. <laughs> what do you think I am, an idiot? Only for Mary and Grant. No way, Jake. A video camera in your hands in this town is considered a dangerous weapon. Oh, come on, Vicky, this is on the up and up. You've got to trust me. Mm, no, Anno, no. All right. All right, what? Well, I just think it would be a shame for all those society people to find out that they were hoodwinked by the senator's fiance. You wouldn't dare. On the other hand, you would get a... A, a big picture on the front of those scandal sheets. Big brouhaha. Naughty, naughty future first lady. Jake, why are you doing Because this? I really need this story, Vicky, and I made a fool of myself in front of my boss tonight. She'll get used to it. Do we have a deal or not? All right. Hey. What? Oh, my God. I want you to sign this. hurting me now. Don't you trust me? Do you want me to answer that? Nothing personal. Yes! Oh, Vicky. Vicky, I could kiss you. I believe. Done that. Now. Who's doing 